what is your identity one of the most simple yet unanswered questions for all of us now if you were to ask me this very question i'd say that my name is varun i'm a college student i'm an indian i'm a hindu and so on and on into what i think my identity is now the question is this how can something that is temporary be regarded and associated as our real identity yes it is temporary we can change our names we can change our occupation at the snap of our finger we can change our nationality we can change our religion and in today's day and age we can even change our gender if we aspire to so all these things which we attest as our identity is changing it is temporary so what is that unchanging constant identity which we can own and that is what the bhagavad gita is going to talk about from the second chapter Now the first chapter if we look at the first chapter it talks about a wide range of human emotions and how those emotions affect our decision making in our everyday lives and in throughout those 47 verses we have two central characters we have Arjuna who is confused desperate as what to do and on the second side we have Krishna who is guiding Arjuna Now from here on in the second chapter Arjuna represents mankind as a whole and all the questions which we seem to have on life such as why are we here what is the purpose of life what do we want out of life and all the answers that we crave for from someone which can eradicate the doubts in our mind and that is where the second character that comes in form of a guiding light in Krishna who is this supreme Now in this story Lord Krishna represents the supreme and regardless of whatever austerities that we practice Lord Krishna is not going to manifest himself before us rather there is going to be a character like Lord Krishna that is going to come in our lives it could be in form of a person it could be in form of a situation but that would be a guiding light that is going to lead us to a better future and in this video series that guiding light is the bhagavad gita now by reading the bhagavad gita it doesn't mean that it is going to solve all our problems in life and give that maximum amount of bliss rather it just makes you think what is the cause of all your problems and emotions and questions in your daily life and it leaves it up to you to decide what you want to do with it now don't you forget guys it will always lead the way and all you have to do is free your mind and while you do that Don't forget to hit this subscribe button right here so that you can join us on this wonderful journey and don't forget to click this video right here to view our most recent upload and as always thank you for watching and until the next episode it is goodbye